afternoon, Rich Nass with Open Systems Media, and I'm here at the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas. What a crazy show this is. There's people everywhere, there's stuff everywhere, there's technology everywhere. But we're here in the Linear Technology booth, and, uh, and I'm getting an education here on wireless technology and battery management systems, and actually um, what's bringing them together. And I'm getting my education from Daniel Quinger, who is the founder and CEO of LionSmart. And I, I'll, I'll ask you, Daniel, what is the... Um, mixture between the battery management system and the wireless technology. Why are they coming together and, and, and what does that mean? Okay, thank you for your question. So, um, in a battery, typically, it's not the cells which cause the biggest problems or quality issue or real reliability issues. It's connectors and cables which tend to get loose or lose the signal. And if you don't have access to the information, what's going on within the battery, you have to switch off the battery and you basically have a stopped car and you end up on the side of the road. So we thought uh, replacing these wires within the battery with a wireless system which is made for industrial IoT application. It is very robust and very reliable so that we can show what is possible with this and through the processes, uh, process of developing the system we figured out that there are so many more applications you can think of when you have a wireless access to the to the modules of the battery within production and the lifetime of the product. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. You rem if you remove the wires, you, re you remove a lot of the points of failure. Where does the software come in? So, this, the, the software come in that that today you have a master controller and you basically on the modules you have no software. They are mostly passive or they have some software in silicon. Today we can write on the module level of the battery, we can flash it over the air. You can think of like in production you have a diagnostic software stack running on the battery modules and they can kind of self-diagnose while they move through the production and would increase quality of the product and the likelihood of detecting a failure at the end of line when the battery is fully assembled would be decreased significantly. Okay. And where does the partnership come in between Line Smart and Linear Technology? So we have a long-standing relation with Lion, uh, with, uh, with Linear Technology. Uh, we uh, traditionally were a, a manufacturer of battery prototype, an engineering company. We did a lot of prototypes for various applications, cars, airplanes, stationary storage, boat, boats, and so on. And we, back then, six, seven years ago, we always bought the BMS from different vendors. And we, we were not very happy with the approach of black boxes and, and, and having to go back and forth with the BMS supplier to, to make the software compatible to the battery we built. So we started six years ago um, an open source battery management system because we want to bring the idea of Linux and Android into the field of batteries. And we got great support over the last years from Linear. We uh, last year have been on the booth here with this demo and uh, there the idea was bo uh, born because I learned uh, first time uh, about the wireless system which is so robust from linear that basically in the discussion with linear we figured out hey maybe we should combine this open BMS and and uh, and the wireless network and uh, show to the world what is possible when you think fresh and uh, come up with a fresh approach that sounds great that was Daniel Quinger from Lion Smart and we're in the linear technology booth and I'm Rich Nass with embedded computer design